Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining Crank Software's Inside of the GUI series. As part of our uh, customer case study sessions, today we're talking about an example of a world-class automotive IVI delivered in partnership with groundbreaking manufacturer Aptera Motors. Aptera brought to market the world's most efficient solar electric vehicle last year with a massive launch that led to over $100 million in pre-orders and selling out within less than 24 hours. The Aptera EV signals a major shift in the automotive industry as its focus on efficiency and innovative engineering brings to market vehicles that's less expensive to build and less expensive to maintain uh, than other EVs out there. This innovation included an incredible new central infotainment display that Aptera and Crank worked together to deliver. Joining me today to discuss this project are Brian Edmund, President and VP of Professional Services at Crank Software, and Amanda McLeod, Storyboard Application Developer at Crank. We'll also hear from Brian Gallagher, head developer for the Aptera IVI and president of Andromeda Interfaces for his thoughts on the project that we recorded earlier. Brian, first we'll start with you. Can you provide us with a quick overview of the Aptera IVI project in terms of goals and the support that Crank provided? Sure, well, when Aptera came to us, they were looking at building a solar powered electric vehicle, which was really revolutionary in the industry. And they required some assistance to create the user interface for the vehicle. And they really wanted to create a very impactful, modern UI, but really had a focus on displaying the efficiency to the user and dealing with the charge and really giving the user the ability to control that and see how their changes in driving habits or usage of the vehicle would impact range and other areas when you look at uh, modern electric vehicles. They also had a very tight timeline where they wanted to get the new user interface up and running and in a vehicle in a very short time frame, matter of weeks or months. And the other thing they were really keen to see is how quickly they could actually see the UI in the vehicle, not just design it on a desktop or in some tools, but actually get the feedback from inside the vehicle. And that's something that we helped them get to very quickly. That's great. Thanks, Brian. And Amanda, from your perspective, since you work directly with the Aptera team and more on the te uh, technical level, can you describe a little bit about what you did for the Aptera project, including in design back and integration work, uh, or back -end integration work? Yeah, definitely. So my role in the Aptera project uh, as an app developer was to bring the front end of the interface to life in order for the users to interact with it uh, and be able to uh, view and simulate how it would work under normal circumstances. So I used Crank's in-house software storyboard designer and its various tools alongside uh, the Lua language to make the client's uh, vision a reality. That's great. And, you know, Brian, you talked about a little bit about the rapid iteration and then the quick timelines that Aptera had. Uh, we'll just throw over to Brian Gallagher now from Aptera to talk a little bit about bridging the gap between designers and developers with that, you know, critical challenge of time. So we wanted to figure out a way, you know, what's the best way to bridge that gap between, you know, what, you know, like a designer, a user interface or user experience designer can envision and improve that experience for the users. But then what, will enable the engineers that will need to implement that vision and then um, deploy it onto the actual hardware. So it all comes together. So, um, you know, our challenge was um, timing because we just didn't really have that time to um, go through the traditional workflow to get there. And so we needed to accelerate that process. And so we felt that <clears throat> after looking throughout the landscape that, um, you know, what suppliers provide what, whether it's hardware or software, you know, who, who were the right fit and who could accomplish it in the time we needed. And that's where we realized that partnering with Crank was going to be <clears throat> ideal for us um, to, to at least not only get a head start, but to continue on with us getting into production. Thanks, Brian. Uh, and now to our Brian, uh, when it comes to uh, study the automotive IVI industry in general, what are some of the things that uh, you know development leaders should consider uh, when they're either starting a new project or continuing a project for this year? Yeah, so whenever you're creating a new intuitive user interface and you really have a short time frame, you want to keep in mind you need some tools to help you achieve that goal, but also allow you to see it on hardware quickly. Um, developing on your desktop and simulating on other pieces of equipment is one thing, but actually seeing it in the vehicle makes all the difference. Also, you want to be able to embrace the change when you see it in the vehicle. So, you know, our designs are never set in stone and change management is always a problem, especially when you see it in a car. You may want to change the look and feel, how work flows or colors, and you really want a tool set that embraces change and doesn't cause delays in your UI getting to market. And Amanda, just uh, from your perspective, since we'll have a bunch of technical people in the audience, uh, what did you find that was most technically interesting about the Aptera project? Um, so I was go 
I'll go as far as to say that I honestly thought that everything was uh, really interesting. Um, it's not often that you see a three-wheeled car with a full solar-powered sunroof and a promising 1,000-mile charge. Um, and designing and developing an interface with all these elements in mind, such as the distance to be traveled and where one would need to stop to charge up, is very different than, let's say, hypothetically design, designing a GUI for a non-electric car. Um, and not to mention, in order to test and simulate the GUI um, development, we used an IMX 8 board uh, loaded with with Linux and a touchscreen. So this is particularly uh, interesting as I had the opportunity uh, to visualize how the interface would be used in a more simplified manner and how it would be seen inside the vehicle. Oh, that's great. And, uh, you know, speaking of all the skills and disciplines that both you and, and, and Brian have, have mentioned, obviously our professional services team was a key aspect of the success to the Aptera project. Uh, we'll go back to Brian Gallagher for his thoughts on how uh, our Crank professional service team helped them on the project. What we didn't know at the time was that um, Cranks um, was willing to provide, um, you know, engineering services to help us accelerate that development um, process and, and working with them because, you know, we <clears throat> internally there were still gaps and resources available at Aptera to, you know, not only just um, do to 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 perform like UI UX design, but on top of that, um, some of the engineering that was involved to to um, to implement the functionality. So knowing that Crank had those services, um, that really helped uh, our engagement as we worked together on these initial prototypes and working with their UI UX designers. And the great thing about that was that they already had the experience and knowledge base with Crank software um, to be able to work with the engineers at Crank uh, and then educate us as they're going through that process of how to, um, you know, uh, develop it, how to, how to implement it, and then how to test it. Great, thanks, Brian. Uh, since we only have a little bit of time left, uh, we'll uh, leave our last question for you, Amanda. Uh, do you have any advice for developers working on similar GUI projects? Yeah, so definitely. So a project of this magnitude may seem like a lot to de develop at first glance. However, fun fact, this was my first project at Crank. I was still learning a lot about the language and the software, but the tools that Crank uh, that is made available through a uh, storyboard uh, designer are easy to catch on to, which made the process so much more simple to break down large tasks into smaller items and eventually come up with a final product like we did. That's great. I think that's all the time we have for today. So key takeaways for, for everyone. Uh, Aptera had a short timelines, had a very complex uh, GUI to, to deliver in within those timelines, and they took advantage of Crank Storyboard and our professional services teams to, to get that done. Uh, for, for more information on our professional services uh, features, you know, visit us at cranksoftware.com. For anyone interested in trying Storyboard for yourself, uh, check out our free trial at the same website. Uh, enjoy the rest of a better world.